exotic and luxurious orchids paired with rustic autumn flowers elevated for creative style. Let me show you how it's done. Flowers, just a few things. Some PRS, one of my favorite foliages. Then some gomprina, straw flowers, celosia, and even a few orchids. The container, a wonderful vessel, but was not watertight. So I sealed the inside using Flex Seal. If you missed that Tulip Tuesday tip, you can find it on the playlist. Then going foam free by taking floral netting, setting it down in, wedging it tightly so it'll stay in place, and then adding water pre-mixed with flower food. Starting with the base layer, the PRS will fill in so well. Just breaking it or cutting it, removing foliage that would be below the water line, and then letting it tuck down in. Breaking the line of the container, draping forward and back, because I'm going to do a two-sided arrangement. And tucking and evenly balancing side to side, front to back. And then to get a little contrast, coming in with some ruscus in the darker greens, just to show off the beautiful yellowish of the Piaris. Now tucking in the beautiful colored blooms, Celosia, commonly called brain plant or coxcomb, cutting it short and then tucking it down low. It's so heavy and bold and it has such vibrant color. Then drawing your eye through and across so that you come out the opposite side. So you're creating a horizontal line through the design, just zigzagging from one side to the other, keeping it balanced. Then coming back, the straw flower, it's a little bit more delicate, tucking it in. Can group some, and then again, carrying the eye from one side to the other, creating that horizontal movement. And then the gomfrina, you can group them. Their stems are so tiny. Tucking it in, adding that little burst of color and repeat. You could stop here with the textural tapestry. It really just shouts out autumn and invites you to touch it. But being a flower lover, got to add one more thing the beautiful draping orchids. The phalaenopsis are very long lasting and the brighter hue will just go right over the top, draping, creating beautiful emphasis, bringing a second one in so that it comes to the opposite side, pulling the eye front to back. For the recipe, I worked in bunches today. One bunch of Israeli ruscus, one bunch of Piaris, one bunch of coxcomb, one bunch of the straw flower, and one bunch of the gomfrina, and then just two stems of the Phalaenopsis orchids for a beautiful, long-lasting centerpiece. The contrast between rustic and exotic is a dramatic, interesting way to design. If you want more creative inspiration and floral education, check out the website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, you can reach us through there. But now, it's your turn. Find dramatically contrasting arrangement pieces. Combine them. Create your own personal style. Then, take a picture, post it on social media, and hashtag Floral Design Institute. That way we all can see what you do as you do something you love.